while a lot of RV brands and manufacturers out there are just sticking with the same old, same old, Keystone Cougar is trying some bold new things for 2024, like a full body paint Keystone Cougar, which is their mid-size or mid-profile fifth wheel that's never had a full body paint option before. So let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, still here in Elkhart, Indiana, here at the Keystone display. And you can see here they have two statement pieces from Keystone Cougar. Now, traditionally, although this is not a fifth wheel, this is what Cougars normally look like here. So they're going to have this white, gray, and black color scheme. You can see this fifth wheel right here as well. And this black model here, I filmed this one while I was in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So you probably already saw my video of this one and this looks like it was the exact same one they had yeah it was the same one they had in Hershey Pennsylvania so already did a video of this one and then they came out with this gray full body paint option this was a little different too because this is actually just a black fiberglass it's not painted like the gray on here is still sticker decals if I remember correct oh no that is painted on just kidding I'm wrong no that is painted on so no Oh, that, gosh, that just shook me up. Okay, now I'm confused with myself because that is a full body paint. So I was wrong on that. And then this here is a full body paint option as well and in gray. So right away, I'm curious, which one do you like more or do you just hate them both? But you have the gray here and you have the black. And I have no idea how many of these are going to be available, how many they're building. I would imagine they're going to be watching the videos that are made here to see y'all's feedback, to see what you think since this is the first time these have really publicly been displayed. So please let us know down below in the comments what you think about the idea and concept of something like this. And what I really like about this gray is I just feel like it will look so good behind just about any truck, whether it's black, blue, red, white, whatever it is, like gray is such a neutral color and this is giving you a full body paint option. So this is going to look a lot better for a lot longer period of time as you own the RV. Now let's get into stuff about Keystone Cougar. This is uh, Keystone's mid-profile fifth wheel, definitely one of the most popular mid-profile fifth wheels in America. They now have the full-profile front cap, so that's going to allow you to do washer and dryer in the bedroom, something they introduced last year in 2023. This is the Midnight Edition, so that is what they are calling these darker full-body paint models. And down underneath here, you can see has a prep for tire pressure monitoring. You're going to have this battery hookup box here with a battery disconnect switch and all of your um, electrical wiring will go to that unit there. It looks very clean and concise. You have a inverter in here as well and a 30 amp solar charge controller down underneath there. You have your spare tire in there as well and they now have this leash latch here, which that is new, so I like to see that. You're gonna have a four point electric auto leveling system. So you can see your legs here and then there'll be two more behind the axles. It's gonna have a road armor pin box up front so that'll have a rubber bushing in it so when you brake and accelerate that will allow you to have some give there so it's a more comfortable ride and it has this hitch vision mirror here so that's going to allow you to see how your truck is lining up with that pin box as we come this way you have two awnings outside so awning here and awning here led lights underneath the awning and they are going with a blue led light on these models there so that is definitely different as well and then as we open this up, this is going to, ooh, dang it, it just slammed shut on me too. I had it. Okay, so open this up, you're going to have a massive, oh wow, that is huge. A massive pass-through storage compartment. Holy cow, they definitely improved this. This was not this big last time I looked at this floor plan that I remember. Has an LED light beam in there as well, has kind of like a glowing effect, so it looks really nice. Aluminum framing in here, welds on both sides of all your frame connections and an in-command wiring panel here. So this is gonna be, if there's ever any electrical issues that need to be troubleshooted or anything, everything's color coordinated and labeled, making either your job easier or a tech's job easier so that it either saves you time or saves you money. Come back down this way. This is the 316 RLS. I don't even think I said that before we started going through this video and they don't even have the right banner up there with this particular model on it. But we'll take a look at the floor plan layout and the specs in just a second. Nice looking rear cap. The Cougar logo on there is black, so it just blends in really well. Such a glossy finish on it too. You have a ladder to get up onto the roof, prep to add a backup camera, and even on your roof membrane up there, they are painting over the edge of that roof membrane so it's not white and it actually matches the 
paint on the Cougar fifth wheel itself. However, I would imagine, let's see if I can get back far enough to see that the whole roof itself probably isn't that color. It's probably just, you know, we're gonna have to climb the, climb the ladder. I guess I haven't climbed up to, to get onto a roof in a while because I'm just trying to go as quick as I can. But we are gonna climb up here real quick and take a look at the roof because I gotta know. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So it is white. Um, this gives me a good chance to talk about something that Keystone does that's different. You see you have 440 watts of solar there, but you have a plug here to add more solar. One of the few manufacturers that's giving you the additional wiring already installed from the factory to add more solar, whereas most other brands, they'll just have the one plug to add solar. And then if you wanted to add more solar, the dealership would have to install all the wiring. So like that, they just build that in right from the get go. But you can see how they paint over the edge of that roof there. So it looks seamless from the side, but I definitely wouldn't want to, you know, that dark of a roof membrane because that's really going to soak up some heat for sure. Woo, try not to fall over. Here we go. Okay. Well, that was fun. So glad we got up there, took a look at that. You do have a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines will sit above the enclosed underbelly. So down underneath here, you also have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks. So definitely going to be equipped to camp in or live in all four seasons. Now as we go inside, it has the new more ride safety rail. So that'll extend further down. Lippert solid step. And whenever you see these red brake drums underneath here, that is going to indicate that it is equipped with Lippert's ABS system or anti-lock braking system. That's going to give you a much safer towing experience, especially in like wet road conditions and things like that. So really like to see that there. And this has a Goodyear Endurance American-made tire. It's a 235-80R16 tire with black wheels here on this Midnight Edition. The black wheels are not standard on the Cougar. That is just on this Midnight Edition that we're seeing the all black wheel. And this here again, it's the 316 RLS, a great couples fifth wheel option, especially because if you look in the bathroom, you get a dual vanity set up there and a rectangular shower. And then you can see all your weights, specs, and tank levels there as well. So give you a second to look at that. And as we come in here, I'm trying to control my pace and excitement a little bit more as I come through these fifth wheels. So just going to give you a second to really take this in, look at everything. And as you're taking a look around, let me know what you like and what you don't like about what you see or just any thoughts or feelings that you have. This is a standard, you know, island kitchen layout that we have here. So not any new floor plan by any means, but just a practical couple style fifth wheel that's always been very popular. Right here, you're gonna have your dining table and it should be storage underneath these seats. And there is, you can also see here, your slide out flooring perfectly matches the flooring of the rest of the fifth wheel. I literally almost could not even tell where that lip of that was. It's so seamlessly done, so I love that. Lift this up and you do have a wrapped subflooring down underneath here. So love to see that as well. And yeah, just the wrapped subflooring under there. So that's something where I started showing the flooring underneath the slide outs back when I was working at a Keystone RV dealer because I knew Keystone was one of the only brands that wrapped the subflooring underneath the floor there. So that was something I showed often. Nice big campsite windows on this floor plan. The dining table here is mounted to the sidewall, so you could take this out and put something else here if you wanted to. You're going to have pull down blackout shades on your windows. So it'll be a black pleated, or not black pleated shade, a pull down blackout shade. Valances that come down the window so they prevent any excess bleed of light coming in through the sides. Something a lot of other fifth wheels in this price range may not have. And that brings me to the price range thing. At this event that I'm at, there is no pricing displayed because it's not a sales event. It's not really like a public RV show. So there is no sales pricing here. So I don't know exact pricing on what something like this would be, especially with this full body paint, since this is brand spanking new and literally was just built probably like a week ago. So I don't have pricing information yet, unfortunately, but if I were able to find some, I will put it in the description of this video down below. Two theater seats here. Whoa, goodness gracious. Apologize y'all just learning how to speak over here, but two theater seats there that you're going to have, and they will be powered heat and massage and a light on those as well with your cup holders. I say powered, it's going to have a, I think it's a pull string to recline the seat or I could be wrong. Nah, cause that's heat and massage. 
Where's the pull strap? What the heck? What the? There it is. Okay. I found it. Okay, yeah. So it does have a pull strap there. I just wanted to check and make sure it'll lay back flat. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Definitely going to lay back flat, give you a very comfortable seating experience for sure. If you come back to the back wall, you're going to have a two cushion sofa back here, which is going to give you nice table side space on both sides with storage. So you have that there. And I just realized there's a ceiling fan in here. I can't recall if Cougars have had a ceiling fan before in the past. I'm totally blanking on if that's new or I feel like that's new. And man, does that make a difference? That ceiling fan felt great when I stepped underneath here. Wow, yeah, that is definitely something that is nice to have in this fifth wheel. Storage space up here, this is actually not all the way through, so that's its own little divided space there, and then these two here are probably connected together. Yes, they are. And they'll stay up on their own. They kind of have a, a shock there holding them up. So I like that. This looks to be a 50 inch screen Vizio TV and I really like that they're going to these Vizio TVs in their fifth wheels because they have such a thin bezel on them. Looks really nice and modern. Really large storage space down underneath here. Wow, interesting how they, they wrapped the wood in your drawers. That's different. Usually it just looks like standard particle board back behind there. You have your electric fireplace. Um, let's see. This will get it to the mode where it changes colors and that will be an electric heat source for you. Have a max air vent fan here in the ceiling and storage space up here with your sound controls through there as well. And then that was a soft close um, cabinet door there. When we come to the kitchen, I love that everything here is symmetrical. So it just has a nice clean symmetrical look. Real quick, can look at your light fixtures here above the island as well. And a little bit new design to their islands as they don't have a hard corner here, but they went to more of a squared off look versus like a rounded look here in the Cougar. So a little bit more geometrical in shape and fashion. Still going to be able to open your refrigerator door when you're going down the road, but freezer door will be blocked by the countertop here in the island. So they stretched this island out and made it really long for you, but it is going to block that freezer portion. You're going to have a Furion three burner stove and oven. So still a nice large oven, just not the largest oven ever seen in a fifth wheel RV. Three burner stove there with a glass top that can be taken off like so, just to give you extra countertop space. Nice big window through this space and you have pop-up outlets, USB ports and USB type C ports. I think the USB type C or you know whatever they call it now should be standard in everything in all RVs across the board now that the iPhone 15 has came out. And we've seen that as the charging port on that phone. So I think that's something that all RVs are going to need to have it going forward. Storage space underneath here, I assume it's going, oh, it's soft closed cabinets in here. I don't think Cougars had soft closed cabinets before. If they did, I don't recall, but I love that because most mid profile fifth wheels do not have soft closed cabinets. And that makes such a big difference to me. I am so glad to see that. Nice big storage all throughout there. Wow, I love to see that. They've also added in a spot for, oh yeah, this is new, spot for trash cans there and a pull out spot for paper towels and storage there. Love that. They did not have that last year. Open this up and you're going to have storage space down through here. And it looks like you'll have a split or it's kind of like a half split stainless steel sink underneath there. Down through here, again, they wrapped. Wow, they did that all the way throughout. That is really putting in some extra effort. I'm just, I got to be honest, I'm curious like how well that's going to hold up because it is just like, it's just a wrapped wood. But that is definitely different. And I mean, they are definitely trying to make it look more appealing for sure. So let me know if y'all appreciate that because that's something that I did not expect to see and have not seen from any other fifth wheel RV brands. Not even stuff that's like higher up than this Cougar. Have your pantry space there. Nice storage space through here as well. These are a tinted glass door that you have and they're kind of frosted so you can't really see through them. A little shelf space there. Countertop space here. A good spot for a coffee maker or a Keurig, something along those lines. And storage underneath there. 
Also, you have the same sort of slide out flooring here in the kitchen slide. And I should note, you do have floor vents here for your heat, which is more of a residential style heating and a more efficient style of heating. And they went to these plastic returns here, so they're not gonna get hot like a metal one wheel, wheel, will. Wow, goodness gracious, man. I filmed so many RVs today, my voice is just, my brain's forgetting how to pronounce words. But anyways, um, it's gonna be harder for, you know, different things to fall down through these vents and that won't get hot like metal will. And it's not as hard when you step on it and things like that. Going up your steps here, you're going to have a grab handle and you have your touchscreen control panel here with your in-command system. That will link to your phone so you can control everything on this fifth wheel from your phone as well. And then in this 316 RLS, you get a dual vanity setup with a massive mirror there. So a great setup for couples. Ceiling height in this space here is about six foot five or so. I stand on my tiptoes and my head did touch the ceiling. So it's probably about six five. You have a porcelain foot flush toilet there, a plastic two piece shower with a seat built in, a stainless steel, shower head and they put a light in the shower now which is great see your skylight there as well and when i step in here oh good ceiling height in here it's probably about six foot gosh probably about six foot three maybe six four probably let's say six three to right here to play it safe um interesting the skylight is pushed back because if you like wanted to stand under the faucet you have to stand pretty far back but when i do step forward it is well above my eyes so i don't actually have to duck to get underneath it which i really like the placement of that that is great to come back down through here see your storage down next to the toilet and in this drawer again that same wrapped material there very interesting storage under your sink two drawers that pull out here and storage under this sink as well Stainless steel uh, sinks in here and stainless steel faucets. Nice, big, deep stainless steel sinks. And some additional storage back through here. While I'm here as well, I want to show you, you have these blade AC vents. These are going to push air out in a 360 degree motion. So I really like these. Like when I put my hand up here, anywhere around this vent, it is blowing air out in every direction, which is going to significantly help with the spread of the cool air and help cool down your fifth wheel quicker which is something that I've really only seen in Keystone products. I think this is a patent they have with Keystone. So you'll only find that everything else will have directional vents that are shooting air in like one or two directions. You have a sliding pocket or farm style door here that is going back. It's actually built in between these two pieces there. So it's nicely hidden. And then going into the bedroom, you have a king size bed, east to west facing king size bed here in the bedroom. Nice shelves up above the window closet here looks nicely done you have a shelving space built in there and it looks like you'll have some storage underneath that spot outlets and usb ports there for whoever is sleeping on this side of the bed and then you'll have spot to hang clothes all up through here and because they have that full profile front cap you can now do a stackable washer and dryer in this closet even though this is a mid profile fifth wheel which is just great you have drawers here that will pull out, spot to mount a TV on the wall here in the bedroom if you would like. You can add a Wi-Fi router here in the bedroom as well if you would like. And then open these up. Same thing. These are wrapped as well. Very impressive. I'm curious if they just did that in this Midnight Edition or if that's all Cougars. I haven't looked in some of these other Cougar models that are out here, but that's the first I've seen this in this Midnight Edition. So I don't know if that's just going to be a standard thing or what. You have a Coleman Mach Q-Series AC in here with a residential air filter and very quiet. It's on full blast right now and I do not have to talk loud to talk over it and it also has that residential air filter. So this is your brand new Keystone Cougar 316 RLS. Very curious your thoughts on it and what you think and obviously as we step outside, just so curious about what you think about the outside look on these fifth wheels. Is this something you would even consider? Or is this something that you think just looks cool and really isn't practical for you? Like, what's your thoughts? What do y'all think? I know I want to know the comments. Keystone wants to know the comments. So please let us know what you think about these Cougar models. And that's all I got for y'all. So appreciate y'all watching. And until next time, live firmly on Bound.